Hi everybody, we're going to talk about Extra Math today. Extra Math is a free online resource which is designed just for one purpose and that's for students to learn their math facts. This is a great resource for teachers and parents too. The website address is extramath.org so let's take a look at how it works. This is what the student activity page looks like. It's just a bare bones interface where students are quizzed on their math facts. Students are being quizzed on their automaticity with math facts so they have three seconds to answer each question. There's a lot of customization available so that you can choose which operation students are learning. For example, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And you'll see that if students get an answer wrong, they're shown the correct answer. And they have to enter the correct answer before they can continue. So while they're learning, they're being assessed. All students start out with a diagnostic placement quiz and then they'll get progress quizzes and practice rounds. But no matter what they're doing, the student activity is basically the same. A whole session takes around five to 10 minutes. So let's take a look at the teacher interface. This is where you'll see all of the student data. I blocked out my students' names with that blue bar, but you can see how it looks. Each student has a mastery score that ranges from zero to 100%. When students reach 100%, there's a certificate of completion that's generated for them and you can print it out, and then they move on to a new operation. These colored shapes indicate how well the student has done on a particular day. And the squiggly lines show the long-term trend for each student. If you click on the student's name, you can drill down to get more information about that particular student. This student here currently has a mastery score of 46%. On the left, you can see a graph for each day she's practiced. And on the right is a matrix of each math fact that she's practicing and how well she knows them. Green means that she has that fact mastered. Yellow means that she knows the math fact but is, is not answering it quickly. And gray means she still needs to learn the math fact. So you can really drill down and get specific information about which math facts students need to learn. And here's a great opportunity to blend traditional learning strategies with extra math. You can use that specific information about math facts uh, uh, to create flashcards. Students could even work with a partner to create flashcards for the facts that they need to learn. If you want to customize what kind of math facts a student is practicing, you can do that. You can choose which operation students are practicing, and you can also choose a beginning edition program that only quizzes students on math facts with sums up to 10. You can also specify how much time students have to answer each problem ranging from one and a half to six seconds. Let's take a quick look at the roster setup. When you go to the Extra Math homepage for the first time, you'll want to click on Sign Up. That's up on that yellow sticky note at the top. You're gonna to put in your email address, and this is important because students will use your email address when they sign in for the first time. After that, you'll go through a few screens where you choose the class name and an end date for the class. You can change this later, but I like to extend the class all the way through the summer so that students can practice over the summer break if they want. After that, you'll just enter each student's name one by one, and Extra Math will start automatically generating four digit pins. Once you're finished entering your roster, you can print a list of student pins for your reference. Finally, I'm going to show you how students sign in, and this part's a little bit tricky for the first time. Students need three pieces of information, your email address, not theirs, their first name that you entered when you created your roster, and their four digit pin. If your students sign into Chromebooks or the other or other devices with their Google account, I would highly recommend that they hit on that red sign in with Google button. Then they'll enter these three pieces of information on this login screen. After that, all their login info is linked to their Google account and all they have to do is click that Google button each time as long as they're signed into Google and they're good to go. So that's basically it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.